Madison, and I'm responding to Sandra Magana's claim of fact speech. Um, her main claim was the death penalty needs to be abolished in the United States. Her supporting claims were the death penalty causes the country too much money, the process of the execution takes too long, and it doesn't deter the crime rate. First off, her main claim for her claim of fact speech was kind of iffy because it's kind of a policy claim of policy of an action that we should be doing. So that was one of the first things I realized. Uh, the response to her first secondary claim was it costs too much money for our country. She gives multiple statistics in different states, like in Maryland, since the death penalty was reenacted in 1978, it has cost $186 million for five executions, averaging around $37.2 million per execution. However, my opponent fails to state a current and relevant because all of her statistics that she did use were from the 1978 to, I believe, 1980s. Uh, so according to Judge Arthur Alacron and Professor Paula Mitchell, updated in 2012, it cost about $1.94 billion in a pretrial, uh, $925 million in automatic appeals and state habeas corpus petitions, and $775 million in federal, and it costs a billion dollars for incarcerations. Um, the cost laid out like this is more clear and visual for people to understand and not just saying just Maryland, just Texas, because in her main claim she does say the United States. Um, a response to her secondary claim is that it takes too long to execute them. She states according to the article in Day, Connecticut, the process averages about 18 to 23 years. Um, although she doesn't state when this was, uh, when this uh, was evidence was taking place, but currently, according to the uh, Bureau of Justice Statistics, the average uh, is about 14.8 years it takes um, since 2012. She gives examples about a mass murderer who is still on death row today, and he's been on it for 23 years. However, it just d depends on the crimes, because the execution of Christopher Thomas Johnson, a 39-year-old, took place in Alabama. He was a man who spent just four years on death row for um, killing his own infant son. Uh, so it only took him four years instead of someone else who was on 23 years. So it just depends on the crime. One of the things she did fail to say is how people, some people on death row are innocent. And since 1973, over 140 people have been freed from death row. One example is Anthony Graves, who was just released in October 27th in 2011. And he was on death row for 16 years. So all that money that went to imprison him, he was uh, innocent the whole time. So it's kind of a waste of money in that matter. A response to her secondary claim, her third one, is that it deters crime. She states that, according to an article produced by the University of Florida, among the experts, there's overwhelming consensus that the death penalty has never been, and is not, and never could deter uh, crimes. But who, she fails to say, but who even stated this? She does say what article it comes from, but who's saying this in the article could be uh, a newscaster, could be anyone. and. They might not have professional knowledge on this topic. So according to the study published in the Journal of Crime Law and Criminology and authored by Professor Michael Radlett, Chair of the Department of Sociology at the University of Colorado, and Tracy Lalock, also at Boulder, similarly 87% of the expert criminologists believe that the abolition of the death penalty would not have a significant effect on the murder rates. In addition, 75% of the respondents say that debates about the death penalty distract Congress and state legislation from focusing on the real solutions to crime problems.
All right, the structural stuff is fine. On the first point, uh, your argument seems to be that uh, there are varying numbers and it would be better to do a nationwide comparison. You come up with a series of numbers that identify what the nationwide costs are. So I'm not sure why you didn't then do the math and figure out, so how much is it costing us for the executions per execution? Uh, you know, it sounds like it would be simple division at that point. I don't know if that's because it doesn't favor your position or because uh, you just didn't uh, think about doing it, but it's a little bit uh, awkward, I think, there. Uh, also, I think the vast differences between the states tend to reflect that it's an issue of practice in the states rather than uh, something that's inherent in the death penalty itself, and I think that might have made more sense. On your second argument about the length of time, I do think you have a, a good challenge here on how long it actually does take. You, you uh, mentioned a more recent statistic and talk about 14.8 years, and I think there's an excellent argument that says, look, it's going to vary from from context to context, and that's important. We have one guy that uh, was executed for, you know, he was only on death row for four years. Then you come back with the example, plus there are people that uh, a lengthy prison sentence is probably a good thing because it gives them a chance to be exonerated. So we've got this one guy that was on death row for 16 years. So the notion that there is a particular time limit, I think, I think there's a, that's the general challenge that you want to make. It's not clear exactly what claim you're making there, but I think that's what the claim ought to be. On the third point, all the evidence you cite actually does a better job of supporting her argument than your argument. Uh, in essence, uh, you basically says, well, it doesn't state in the article who said this, and then you turn around and present an article that does state exactly what the advocate's talking about. 87% of these experts don't believe abolishing the death penalty would have a problem, and 75% say that talking about the death penalty at all distracts us from real solutions, like the death penalty doesn't have anything to do with that. So I think that, that those arguments actually bolster the advocate's claim on that point. All right.